Yo, what's up guys? Rune exclusion settings. I know a lot of people want you to just go in the chat and give me the share button and then just copy whatever I do. I don't recommend to do that. And the main reason is why I don't recommend to do that is because I have higher standards of like keeping or selling things than someone else. Plus you kind of have to tweak it to what makes sense for you. If you don't have too high in a certain thing, you shouldn't be like selling that shit all the time. Makes sense, right? But we're just going to go over all of them and I'm going to be giving my take on it. I'm also still kind of tweaking these numbers back and forth a little bit. But I rather want you to give you an understanding of what I do rather than me saying these are the settings and that's it. Even though I do know that everyone just wants like, okay, say like these are the settings, use that, that's it. I don't recommend to go for that. So first of all, for these, I have everything selected except legendaries. And for these, I have all of the flats that selected. It does, however, mean that flat stats that are legendary are included in automatically selling. Even if you would give them um, filters that would exclude them, I think it doesn't exactly work if you put them in here. So I always check the legendaries if they don't happen to have like a flat stat on speed or something like that. So for those, like all of the five stars in this, of course, is sell. And then we go into the exclusion things of what am I selling? So I kind of have to check on the fly what I was doing with these as well. I only use about, I use four of them. And in this case, well, first of them is for Will, Despair, Swift, Vio. And I mainly just select these three things. You could kind of select all of them, but no, wait, you don't want to select all of them. You just care about like six stars, heroes and legendaries. You don't care about any blue. So these are the four good sets. Let's just call them the four good sets, Swift, Despair, Will and Vio. For those, I kind of check, I want to have at least a speed roll in them. I want to have, oh, I could actually say yes or no, it doesn't have to be yes in this one. Um, I want to say at least a speed roll, at least HP roll, like any percentage roll in there, kind of, of like a certain grade in there. The reason that I go kind of low on this stuff is because like a four speed could become a 22. A four crit rate could become a 22. A uh, six HP could still become a 30. Like all of these things could become a 30. If it's one lower than this, like you could even say like a five, I would be like, eh, probably not. So for that reason, I decided to go sixes on these because I feel like that makes most amount of sense. Whereas uh, if you would go higher on these, like for example, you could say a seven or an eight, but sevens could still become 31. Sixes could become 30. And that's actually my main take on all of this. And that's also my feedback to come to it. Runes actually don't really make good use of the cell exclusion settings. And the moment we get to artifacts, I will show you how that's a lot better for artifacts than for runes. But runes, in my opinion, and it would be a very nice update and write it in the comments or just in the chat right now, if you agree with me, runes should start at plus six. Because plus six pretty much costs nearly nothing, maybe even plus nine. But at the plus six, you can see like, okay, my rune is maybe on 14 speed. I want to keep that because we're going high into speed. Or my rune is like 14 crit rate and then I could maybe use that. So all of those things, you then you can actually use this. Because now I'm just using pretty much everything except the flat stats and trying to roll in that. But if a rune starts at a plus six or even a plus nine, I can actually do like a proper exclusion of saying like, okay, I want to have that specific speed on the rune, or I want to have like at least 22 uh, HP on the rune to be useful. I want to have at least 22 attack or defense, that kind of stuff. So that also like, if they ever do that kind of update, those are the kind of numbers. I would probably go for, let's say, um, I would say 16 speed minimum, and then 22 on all of those, and then, also 16 on this one so that's the the max blue minus two that's kind of the role that i would go for so max blue minus two i will mention that later for artifacts as well max two means like okay what is the max roll of a speed that is a six max blue meaning 16 minus two or it's 18 and therefore minus two and then is that so that is uh the reason why then we go for uh all of them and this is just specifically for all runes. If any of the runes have a six speed or a six crit rate, keep them. Simple as that. Because those could be like 20, uh, 24s and this could be 24s. And I know there's like in energy and all of that other kind of crap. All of the other runes, I don't really need anything that is just a six. I will, if I get any questions in the chat right now, I'll talk about them all the way at the end. So I just, I'm not ignoring you, but just to keep my 
conversation going like that. I could say in here, like, oh, maybe I want to keep things like uh, energy that is like uh, 8 HP and that kind of stuff. But I think I put them in like a different one. So my next step is for specifically, what are the damage runes or what are the runes I care for for damage? So I could include like Will, Despair, Swift, Vile here again. But since they're already in the other tab, the, uh, they don't really have to be in this tab as well. So in this case, I go for all of the stats that I care about for damage. So for damage, I want to have like at least 5 speed, at least 6 attack, at least 7 crit damage. Crit damage I care a little bit less about. And then uh, also the 5 crit rate. And the 5 crit rate, I care about those because, well, it's just like if those get any 23 on like a damage rune. So it, it's also including, of course, Swift and Will and Dispair and Vile. But you don't really have to include them because they're in the other one. But just to be inclusive, let's just add them in there. But these are like all of the things where you say like, okay, if it rolls high in damage, I can use that on those specific type. I also have the other way around for the types that are uh, more of the tanky type. So that is like your energy and their guard, uh, mainly those shields you can maybe use at Nemesis as well. And that's when I'm looking for like, okay, attack if it's a max rule, I might keep it, but I'm mainly looking for like HP and defense if they roll sevens, I can still use them. So those are the things that I'm using for this. But once again, these numbers would be a lot better if I could actually see the plus six of a rune. Because if this was the plus six of a rune or a plus nine of a rune, I could put this like to 23 or anything like that. So to recap, I have this for all of the good runes and that's just like overall all of the stats. Then I have this one just for all stats to get speed and crit rate up. Then for this one, I have like a specific gold tab for all of the damage stats and then all of the damage runes that are out there. And then I have one that are just like the defensive stats and then also the defensive runes out there. So that's everything for runes. But I would say that this, I do notice that I'm say, uh, I am insta-selling a lot more stuff. Because if I click on this one right now, it does insta-sell a bunch of stuff. But it's still keeping these kind of things. And this is where like, yeah, okay, if this was actually like a proper roll, like 16 in uh, crit rate, then it could be a something. But right now, this is absolutely crap. This is just finding like that one seven, but it's crap. So a lot of the runes out there that it's not excluding, there are still crap and I still have to check like a whole bunch of runes. And it would be very nice to be able to exclude like the, um, the well, I think the flat stats, yeah, they already exclude. But if my flat stat happened to have like six speed, it is still uh, uh, set as a selection for selling, which I would say for runes, this could still get a few upgrades of getting extra settings in to make it nicer. But I think the main thing that is lacking for runes is not being able to see a plus six. Because this one, if I saw this rather than the state before, because in this state, it's 100% a sell. If this 16 speed was in there, it was 100% a keep. And that is the main thing that I'm looking for. And if you really want to speed up the process of like keeping or selling runes, we got to see plus sixes. And if they would just give like the rune basis of selling price nothing, and therefore we already use the 20k in here, will be something very nice for something like that. Because those kind of uh, runes could be easily excluded because you're not going to use that shit anyways. So let's look on to the next one, artifacts. And artifacts make a lot more sense. And for artifacts, actually, I do not exclude legendaries. And the reason I don't exclude legendaries is because I want to check every legendary to see how it is rolled. Because with legendary, it's... I noticed a lot of the rolling uh, for heroes, it's pretty easy to get like triple in one line or double good line and then one other line. Whereas with legendaries, it's very common to have like very split out things, but they could still be usable. So for that reason, I just decided to check every legendary and the legendary drop rate on this is not that high. So for this one, I only have one tap and one tap is enough. Uh, and this one is max blue plus one. So let me actually grab a notepad to explain better what is max blue plus one. I think is the notepad still included in here? Nope. So I'm saying a lot of uh, max blue plus one. And this is not what I recommend other people to do. This is what I recommend me to do because I have pretty good artifacts. What I recommend most people to do is minus one. So what does that mean? For example, we have damage uh, on fire. Uh, roll is five. And therefore, max blue is 15. No, wait, 15. Therefore, max blue minus one is 14. This is what I recommend people to go for. Max blue minus one. 
That means that you're having a double roll that's pretty high plus a roll in something else that could be usable. Those kind of artifacts you want to check on. I started noticing at some point I got a lot of those kind of artifacts already. And for that reason, a double high roll plus a roll in something else was already not that interesting for a lot of those stats. So therefore, I went for myself for the plus one, and therefore you end up with 16. The moment you go for this setting, you do notice that you're selling pretty much all of your freaking artifacts because you're only looking at triple rolls. So therefore, I would recommend like 90% of the accounts I log into, they ask me, what should I farm on? Artifacts. For that reason, you guys all have shitty artifacts. <laughs> so for that reason, do not go higher than this. I would absolutely, you could even say 13. Like if your artifacts are not that great, I would go max blue minus two. So what does that look like for these? Okay, so max blue minus two is this. Um, for this one, I actually, max blue is 18 in this. I went two up on that because in most cases for these stats where you want to have like, if you, you use a lot of these in Siege, right? So in Siege, you just want to go like 20%. So maybe for those, you could go like a little bit higher than because those would be 18 on max blue. But in this case, yeah, you, ca you kind of want to have like at least 18 or 19 on that. Uh, then we have those. I haven't farmed any of those yet. So for this reason, those are max blue minus one. Like the reason I went up on those, I actually uh, went for the max blue minus one. For like the longest time of farming, I farmed like I think two weeks uh, of SF uh, Abyss. And at some point I progressed to the points like, okay, I have way too many artifacts right now. I go for the plus one rather than the minus one. But that took me a good week and a half of like super speed clearing Abyss hard to get to that point. I wasn't there like from the start saying like, okay, I just exclude that already. That also gives me the reason why I go this for the minus one still. So 18 would be uh, max blue, plus one would be 19. But I think for those, because you have a lot more uh, potential of combination runes being interesting, because in this case, you just want to do pure damage on something, right? You could have this with a crit damage own or something that could be interesting. But if you use that in PV or Siege or anything, you want to have like, it's, it's not too great for combination lines. If there's any combination line, I would always go minus one. Even if I farm a lot of this shit, I would still go max blue minus one because you could get a line of like uh, CD1 is 17, for example. I might even lower it to 16 and then like a CD uh, own that's like eight. Like these kind of lines combine very well. Same with like uh, first attack. Let's just call it that first attack uh, CD. And then first attack CD could even be like an 11 or some shit or 12. So I would say for those, I probably will lower those one for mine because you can have a lot of combination lines that are interesting. Recovery is slightly different. A lot of the units that you do recover on kind of recover hard on one skill and not too much on the other skills with a few exceptions of like a Lulu and a friend. Those have more of those kind of things that have like more where you have like a combination line becoming more interesting but i could maybe say that for uh, recovery skill three i want to go like high so i want to go 20 plus or something like that same for accuracy accuracy you could also say like most of the time you want to have that one unit with like high accuracy skill three that kind of stuff and for that reason you just go like very high on that um but there are some combination lines, for example, on Oliver, if you make your Oliver 75 accuracy, you kind of want to have that 10, 10, 10 line. With the 10, 10, 10, you're always going to exclude them if you keep this kind of setting. So that, that's kind of something that you kind of have to play around with, like, okay, is that actually something that I need that high or do I want to first check them until I get that? Because with artifacts, you don't need that much depth. You need one or two in every like quadrant and then you're kind of good that you can switch around and that kind of stuff. You don't need like 10 artifacts, whereas you could use like 20, like 10, 24 speeds of higher runes, like you would love them. But for artifacts, you only need like a finite amount of everything. So for uh, attack increasing effect, um, for me, this one, I also made 16, which is also a blue plus one. I might put this down the moment I start going in PC, because in PC, I would say 14 is actually a better one, because 14 in PC does mean they, they added like a few things of this right now. So I can actually um, exclude or include like things that I just want to do it on types and I don't want to do it in attributes and that kind of stuff. Also on these things, uh, I hear a lot of people say like, oh, if it's defense, I don't care about it. Wrong. 
freaking wrong. There's so many units with incredibly low defense based stats that defense is actually super useful. Do not sell everything that's defense based. It's actually pretty good. Um, for speed, however, for speed, you don't really want to have a combination line. You just want it high. Same for bomb damage. The moment you get bomb damage, you could have a combination line of bomb damage with attack increasing effect, but you mostly just want to have it pretty high. Uh, this one is a max blue. It's just 12. Uh, this thing is like the shittiest shit out there. Same for life drain. Like if we're talking about bad lines and they actually removed a few good lines because the few good lines would be speed from lost HP, attack from lost HP, defense from lost HP. Those were actually both or all three way better than these two lines because life drain cool and all, but you might as well add more damage to life drain more, right? Simple. Crit damage uh, taken down is really shit because, well, the example that's mostly made, which is true, but there's another counter example to that. But let's say a Lucian hits you with 200 crit damage. I have minus 20 on uh, crit damage taken down. Therefore, the Lucian will crit with 180 crit damage. That is not really a big gap. But if you talk about another unit, let's say a Narsha with 100 crit rate, 50 crit damage is hitting you, that 50 crit damage becomes 30 crit damage. Then you're looking at bigger gaps. But then again, there's not that many units that have that low crit damage and not uh, crit damage fixed in artifacts as well so it's somewhat of a terrible line in the first place then we're looking at the real interesting stats which uh, which is additional damage by hp attack defense and speed those i kept pretty much on a one roll and that is already fine i had this at zero five before but the main reason i looked at this Defense, I got a little bit higher because most of the defense scaling units, they just want a lot of defense and they don't really want like a mixture of everything. But let's say you get a uh, purple artifact that has 0, 6, a 7 and uh, 70. You get a very good artifact, right? It's a one in each line that is actually one of the few exceptions in this whole game where a one in each actually becomes a very good artifact. However, if you would set these numbers to like um max white plus one so you would go for these kind of rolls and then this into a 90 you would always exclude these artifacts that have one in each roll and yeah that, that's just a thing that i was like yeah these lines are that good so i would like to take extra time for checking those uh this one max blue plus one uh this one oh no wait max blue minus one because this is also still good for combination line um, this one is also minus one combination line. So the thing is like combination lines, if the lines could have multiple like cohesive things, I always go for the max blue minus one. If it's just a thing that I, it's like, okay, on this one, I just need pure this. Then I go for the max blue plus one. That, that's kind of the, the rules that I set into it. And that is everything for artifacts. It's a little bit more complicated with the max blue, blah, blah, that kind of stuff. But the moment you get the hang of it, like, the easiest thing is just say like, okay, max blue minus one or minus two. And if there's something that could be a combination line, then you just go lower on that. That's like general rule of thumb on those. Then for artifacts, uh, for gems, I didn't exclude. Oh yeah, for gems, I actually exclude like all of the flat HP, attack, defense, crit rate, crit damage, resistance, accuracy, because all of them are kind of crap. Like you don't really need too many of those. And I was mainly getting them as legendary anyways. Uh, for grindstones, I was only excluding HP flat attack or like flat HP, like the flats for, for the flats. Uh, what do I have in here? I don't entirely remember what kind of things that I did in here because these are the ones that I did all the way in the back uh, or like pretty much the first ones out there. So first one I have is pretty much all runes except for the shitty ones, the real shitty ones that no one likes that we're getting a lot of. I keep all of the percentage stats. So simple as that, and these are also for both gems and grinds, yep. So just all of the percentage stats, so that exclu excludes all of the other ones. This one is uh, one that I made for specifically for intangible, and intangible I want to keep everything, and literally everything, everything, because I don't have too many intangible grinds on anything, so I can probably use some here and there, so I just have that. You could also say that you want to uh, limit the number on these, but since this is an everything tab, I would not limit the number on these yet. Uh, then I also made an exclusion for gems specifically for all of the damage sets. So that's Fatal, Swift, Blade and Rage, where the crit rate and crit damage is actually useful. Because you, crit rate, crit damage on Vio and on like all of the other things, you don't need too many of, you probably get like the, the few that you need, you get legendaries anyways. But for these, I excluded the crit rate and crit damage as well because they are actually pretty useful for those four sets. 
Uh, then I also made one to exclude the flat attack on the grindstones for the exact same sets for pretty much the same reason. Like flat attack on this is actually pretty useful. Uh, then I had one that's, uh, wait, does this make any sense? Ah, yeah. This is one where I would say, I'm not sure if this overrules the previous one, because in this one I say, like, we don't have a limit. In this one I say, like, I have a limit uh, if I get more of HP, defense, and attack higher than 6. I want to remove them from those sets, excluding the Swift, Despair, Will, and Vio. Um, but the thing is, these, this number, I didn't really use, make use of that anything anyhow, because I have a lot of grind spots, because I have the habit of grinding everything. And with everything, I mean I grind until I cannot find another rune to put a grind on. And how does that look like? Well, I can give you an example. If we go to grinds right now, I think I don't really have some of them. Well, probably if I find like a grind that is in this, nothing is grindable. That is what I mean. I grind everything until there's nothing to grind. The moment that I get uh, too many slots in here filled, I can still like literally fill like 900 slots. I just go over here, I sell all five because there's nothing to grind. And that is why my way to keep this kind of clean. Like the moment that there's nothing to grind, I just start selling them. And if there's something to grind, like for example, this, there's a lot of shit to grind. I would just go through all of these runes, no matter their shit or not. I would just grind them. That's literally what I do. And then I grind them until there are seven. So they no longer show up in here. I have too much mana. It takes a little bit of time, but I mostly do this while watching like some TV series or whatnot. And that is uh, getting you a lot of weird runes that you might be at some point like, okay, uh, might actually be good in the future. It's kind of annoying right now, but it definitely does help out a little bit. Only thing that would be very nice in here, which I noticed myself at some point, I feel like I, I, I see this one rune like this one, for example, I'm like, yo, this is actually fucking shit. I don't even want to grind this. Would be actually nice if I can change the state in here and make it findable that I can sell it at a later point. Like those kind of things would be very nice if that is included as well. Just simply for me to have like a check of like, oh, wait, this rune that I equipped on like this old unit is like, this is actually super garbage. I want to change the state and then have that uh, state open at some point and sell all of the runes from there. That would be really nice if they go for that kind of setting and then do it that way. So I don't really use the limiter of how many I get of those because also for this one, for example, like there's just two, both of them are shit. Like, okay, I sell the whole pile. Easy. That's just kind of like my way of tracking those down. I see a lot of people that just sell like all of these kind of things. Like, oh, I don't need too many of this. I need don't need too many of those. I recommend you just use shit. Like if you have too much mana, just first use it and then start selling. Like there's no point to sell everything right away and then later be like, oh, I got these good runes, but now I have to go back to R5 because I don't even have heroes for it. It's more chill to just... Uh, keep like a few heroes like at some point I uh, what I did before this rune exclusion selling stuff is I was keeping four of everything and I was in the time where I wasn't uh, farming as much R5 so I wouldn't sell the whole pile I would probably sell the pile until four and with four you can always have like it's a one in four chance to get like a four to seven roll so if you get any potentially good rune you could at least roll it to like a six or seven so yeah that's pretty much everything there is for me for all of this rune exclusion kind of stuff um, once again, I do know that you probably want me to just go in the chat and uh, share all of those. Uh, there's two reasons why I'm not going to. A is going to be, uh, you're going to have the settings that I have, and I don't recommend you to have the same settings as what I have. Maybe for runes, it's not too bad. Maybe for grinds, it's not too bad. But for artifacts, definitely doesn't fit you. Um, or most likely, let's say, there's people with good artifacts, definitely. I don't have the best artifacts out there for sure. But... I would recommend you to understand why I put certain settings. I don't want you to exactly copy because then you're not understanding. You're selling way too much stuff at some point and you're just like, I'm not upgrading my accounts. Like, yeah, you're selling too much stuff. That is not the point. Plus, I cannot share this. Like, if I go to one chat right now, I shared it in that one chat. Someone else comes in five minutes later. Oh, can you share it again? Or go to another server. Can you share it there? Like, the sharing button is actually somewhat more annoying than chill for me in all honesty so i'd rather share it by video and make you understand how it is sure it's maybe a lengthy process of actually looking at this whole video but that's where you get all of the information so guys thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't yet like this video because that definitely tells youtube that we're out there and making content that actually means something like this kind of stuff even though it's annoying i know it is but this will definitely help you out if you watch the whole thing if you understand it 
Definitely like it if you appreciate this kind of stuff. And see you as always in the next.